Hey guys, today I am going to be showing you how to get rid of screen tearing on Linux if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. Now I'm going to try and make this um, as accessible to as many various Linux distributions as possible. However, today I'm going to be using Manjaro Linux because that is um, probably one of my favorite Linux distributions if I'm completely honest. And I, I don't use my XFCE um, desktop environment very often, but I do find that screen tearing in Linux is substantially worse uh, under desktop environments like XFCE, LXDE, um, and uh, window managers like i3, for example, uh, because you'll you'll often find that um, desktop environments like GNOME and KDE often have built-in anti-screen tearing functionality because they are bigger and, and more elaborate and more advanced um, desktop environments. So if you do experience screen tearing with a NVIDIA graphics card, then I am going to be showing you today how you should be able to get rid of it and it's quite an easy way so what you have to do is for first off if you are running Manjaro you really did need to install your system with non free drivers now this is the option at the very first um, boot up screen so once you get your, your live CD or your live USB of Manjaro you plug it in and you boot off of it and you get that first installation menu it will say boot uh, Manjaro and it will say boot Manjaro with non-free drivers. That's the one you want. You probably have already worked that out by now if you're using a NVIDIA graphics card. If you haven't then that's obviously a key piece of information there. But um, Manjaro does a very good job at actually setting up your NVIDIA drivers already for you. So uh, in order to um, open up the NVIDIA settings and that's what you're going to need. It's a very simple command but you do have to do it from the terminal uh, like I'm doing right now. You open it with the command sudo nvidia hyphen settings, that's all very simple. Uh, then you have to type in your root password. Now it absolutely has to be root which is why you can't select nvidia settings from the file menu uh, like up here. You have to select it, um, you have to open the application from a terminal using sudo. Some distributions will automatically open nvidia settings here as um, as root, some will not. So just to be on the you know the safe and cautious side, uh, it's always good to open up uh, Nvidia settings as root from the command line. Okay, so X server display configuration, and as you can see, here are my two monitors. And oh, some of you may be a gasp. I'm not even running uh, a monitor of 1080. Yeah, so um, there you go. That's the that's the thing. <laughs> I've got two perfectly good working monitors, and I can't bring myself to to throw them out and. And that's, uh, that's me. So, you have to click the advanced button down here in the bottom right hand corner. So you go to X server display configuration where you can see your two monitors and all the configurations there. Um, and then you just click advanced because it is an advanced option. And you want to check force composition pipeline. Now as you can see I've already got it checked because I've I've already um, sort of solved this issue. But it would usually be a case, and it gives you a bit of a description there, that this would be unchecked and you just simply check it like thus. And then you have to apply it. And then it will give you um, some, uh, you know, it will it'll, it'll apply it. However, what you will then want to do is to save it to the X configuration file. So the X configuration file is a file in your, you know, it's in your, in your root file system. It's away from your personal documents and anything like that. It's a file deep within the rest of your system files um, that contains all the really important information about where your screens are and, and what they're doing. Now, many distributions and many Linux installations do not have this file because the automatic detection settings you know everything's automatically detected so it doesn't have to be written down in a file however if the automatic detection settings have failed to pick up something correctly or you've got some custom settings in you know applied then you will probably have one of these um x configuration files already drafted and um, and in use now again it is very important to state that with different linux distributions the x configuration file is in different places and that is that is probably the most important piece of information out of this video uh it is um, make sure that uh, whatever distribution you're using, you know where the X configuration file is. A Google search, or uh, you know, or, or raising the questions to someone you know who who already uses the distribution, will probably net you the answer. It's a reasonably easy to find piece of information, but it is in, it, it is kind of important. You're unlikely to overwrite anything important. Um, but you yeah, don't want to take that risk when you're playing around as root. You, when, whenever you're, you're using your, your root privileges, you always want to know what you're doing. So you do click the save to X configuration file, but it gives you, you know, it, it tells you, um, it, it asks you, 
for uh, a path to your X configuration file. So on uh, Manjaro, it's in a bit of an unusual place. It's in um, etc slash x11 slash mhwd.d forward slash nvidia.conf. So, uh, well, I say it's in an unusual place. It's in a different place to the Ubuntu um, uh, X settings file. So, so bear that in mind. Also, if you are using the command line, one of the things that often trips me up is that this is an uppercase X in X11. I, I spent a ridiculous... There was one time I spent like 10 minutes trying to work out where the X11 folder was. Oh, yeah. Capital X. It's like it's right there in the... You know, you type LS, it comes up. It's right there. And uh, an X, you know, it's just one of those letters that um, is, is, you know, the, the capitalized version is just a bigger version of the lowercase version. Anyway, you click that, you click save, bish bash bosh, quit. Do you really want to quit? Yep, you've saved the configuration file. Um, you then want to restart X. Now, the um, composition effects have already, you know, like they're already in place at this stage, but you will want to reboot it just to make sure that everything still works. Whenever I've touched the the X configuration file, I'll, I always just reboot my system to make sure that everything is just clocking in as it's supposed to. Um, it's, you know, maybe call it superstition or nervousness or, or good habits, but whenever I make any sizable changes to a computer, even if it's not required, I reboot um, just to make sure that no, nothing else has been affected and that I can still boot into my system even though it's currently working as I am now. It's just it's just one of these habits I've picked up that has generally served me quite well. Um, and of course, in case you are wondering, um, the, my background wallpaper is the flag of my hometown. I know some of you guys may have may raise that question in the uh, in the comment section, so I thought I might uh, help you out there. So that's about it from me today. Thank you very much for watching, and just for a bit of a change, um, as you can see the end slate now. Uh, I'm going to put two videos from two channels that are not this one, and if you guys want to check out something to do with flags or something to do with Game of Thrones, then click on one of the two videos. They're both on channels that I run. They're both videos with me in them, but um, if you want to check them out then feel free to do so but until next time that's about it from me today um i've been chris Ware, and you've been awesome and i did my intro in slightly the wrong order but outro anyway toodaloo